Welcome. This video has been created as a tool to help students and parents understand how to access and edit a student career plan in Skyward Student and Family Access. Let's get started. Let's begin by discussing what a career plan is and isn't. A Skyward career plan is an opportunity for your student to map out what their four years in high school may look like. It gives them an opportunity to figure out how all the courses they are required to take and the courses they would like to take work together within a four-year plan. It is not your student choosing what they would like to do for the rest of their life. Instead, view this as an opportunity to begin discussions of what they may be interested in and searching out ways to explore those careers and fields through electives offered at their high school. It is also important to know that the career plan is fluid and parents and students should not be surprised when changes are required. We will discuss in more detail how those changes can be made later on in this video. First, it is important to know that both parents and students have the ability to access career plans in Skyward. However, plans can only be edited through the student account. If you are wanting to make a change to a plan, you must log in through the student account and not the parent account. To access the career plan, you'll log into Skyward Access and click on the Career Plans link from the menu on the left. If this is the first time for you or your student to access the career plan, you may get a pop-up like the one on the screen. This pop-up is informing you of the option to begin your plan by selecting a template. Templates are set up as tools to help load your core classes quickly and all at once, as opposed to loading each course individually. We recommend trying to find the template that best fits your academic needs with the knowledge that you will be able to make adjustments to that template later on. There are multiple templates to choose from based on core classes you will be taking and what level of course you would like. If you do not intend to take any advanced academic courses, including pre-AP, AP, or dual credit, you should choose a template titled On Level. You may also choose a template that includes all pre-AP and AP options or just advanced courses in a specific content. Once you have selected your template, you will be redirected to the career plan screen. Some features of the career plan to point out include that each column represents a school year, beginning with any courses taken prior to ninth grade on the far left. Notice the courses are listed with name and credit earned for the class. As we move to the right, we can see the courses the student is currently enrolled in for ninth grade and the courses that were preloaded using the on-level template. On the far right, you will see the graduation requirements, which updates as we edit the plan. Before moving on, I'm going to make the plan a little easier to view by clicking on the View Full Screen in the top right. There are a lot of ways to edit your plan, so let's begin by simply adding a class. By looking at the graduation requirements on the right of the screen, I can see any missing graduation requirement highlighted in red. By clicking on the plus sign next to any missing requirement, and then selecting the grade level, I would like to take that requirement from the drop down and clicking the Show Curriculum button, I get a list of courses that will meet that requirement. In this example, the student is currently enrolled in Spanish 1, so I would click either Spanish 2 or Spanish 2 Pre-AP to select it and then click Save. You can now see that Spanish 2 has been added to my plan and I am no longer missing that requirement from my graduation requirements. As a side note, you may notice that there were some courses listed with a T in front of the course number on the left. These courses are transfer courses and not available to our students on our campus, but represent courses that students brought with them from other districts. You never want to select a course for your plan that has a T in front of the course number. Another way to add a course would be to add it from the Add Curriculum button at the top of each column. Let's say that I want to continue in the art program and would like to take R3 drawing next year. I can find that course by clicking the Add Curriculum button. From here, I can search by typing the title of the course I am looking for in the search box and hitting Enter. This brings up all the art classes, and I can find Art 3 Drawing and click Save.
The last option I would like to go over with you is if you would like to edit or remove a course from your plan. For this example, let's assume I'm doing well in English 1 and would like to move into Pre-AP English 2 next year. First, I need to remove English 2 from my plan. I do this by clicking on the pencil in the top right corner of the English 2 card and selecting Remove Curriculum. If the pencil is not available for that course, you do not have access to edit the course and you will have to contact the student's counselor to get assistance. Now I can add English 2 Pre-AP using either of the two methods we have discussed. I'm going to choose to add it using the graduation requirements on the right. We want to ensure you that our school counselors will be meeting with students and checking every career plan. We will make sure all graduation requirements have been met and students are taking the necessary prerequisites to enroll in advanced elective courses. We hope you found this information helpful and let us know if you have any further questions.